Good morning. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. This will be the last tutorial of the year, which, um, you know, it's sad. It's always sad to me to see a year go, even as um, unstable. Let's use the word unstable. Even as unstable as 2020 has been, I do find it always a little bit sad to see a year go by and... Um, yeah, you know, um, but I am excited for New Year. I think 2021 will treat us well. I hope it treats us well. Um, and I'm excited. Okay, so today I'm going to share a project with you from the So Sentimental um, stamp set. I'm actually using the coordinating dies also. Um, I can't recall if this is a bundle or not, but I will list all of the items in the description. So um, if it is a bundle, it will be listed as such. Um, otherwise, you can purchase separately. Please remember, always when purchasing a bundle, you, re you do get a 10% discount. Okay, so I'm going to use the I Can't Thank You Enough sentiment, and I'm going to use these two dies from the coordinating set. I believe it's called Stitch So Sweetly Dies. Okay, so we're going to move things over, get started. Okay, so first I have a scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm going to take my Pretty Peacock and I'm going to ink this up. Just dab a few times to gather some ink. Straight down and up. Okay. Close up my ink pad and as always I clean as I go. So just using my chamois to clean off my stamp. The thing I love about the chamois is that if it doesn't clean perfectly as you pass through, you can just pick it up and kind of use it as a wipe um, to get all the extra stuff. Okay, so doing that, I'm gonna bring the um, cut and emboss machine over. I already have it open over here. So I'm bringing it over this way. I'm going to stack all but my top plate. Um, and I'm going to use, let's see. I'm going to put the um, sentiment here. And I'm going to stamp it. No, I'm not going to stamp it. I'm going to frame it with this one here. And then I'm going to take, this is um, just jade cardstock, and I'm going to use this bigger um, die to kind of do the other side. So I'm cutting two at once. Um, okay, so then we'll go ahead and pull it through, or roll it through rather. Okay, so that's one. pretty little die image with the nice little stitching on the frame and then we have this one which perfectly centers our sentiment and it has some of that um some more of that pretty stitching okay i'm going to take some dimensionals and take off the backing and we're just going to layer these two die images together this all the trimmings um, embellishments I'm gonna use the bigger white resin dots and I'm gonna put one here and one here I really like these white resin dots I think they are perfect this um this is on clearance too so if you have a chance to shop my website um go ahead and put those in your cart also because they are on clearance and retiring um, so you don't want to miss it. Okay, I have a half sheet of Pretty Peacock that I'm going to fold in half and um, use my bone folder to make sure I get a really clean, crisp fold. And 
this is just whisper white cardstock cut at five and a quarter by four i'm going to run some adhesive on the back here and we're just gonna center this center this on the inside on the inside of the card like that okay this is some dsp i forget which one it is but as always all the items will be linked in the description so you can go ahead and shop the project okay so we're putting we're centering this right in front this is the same VSP, it's just the reverse side. So I just cut a little strip. I don't even know what the measurement on this is. Um, I could look it up for you really quick. It is three quarters, no, one inch. Yeah, one, just under an inch. And I'm putting this kind of towards the bottom here and I'm just lining it up edge to edge on this other printed VSP. Except it's back, or it's not backwards, it's upside down. Okay, hold on, before it gets too sticky, let's try to lift it up. So I didn't apply pressure to stick down the adhesive yet, which is good, 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 because otherwise I wouldn't be able to turn it. Okay, so now we're doing it the upside right way. Upside right, okay, and then again, edge to edge, just making it flush across. Okay, so now I'm taking our die cut. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put probably an ex obscene amount of dimensionals here. But I do like using the dimensionals. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening there. Okay. Oh, well, maybe not that many. I'm only going to use five. Okay, so it's not too crazy. Okay, so just removing the backing of these. You guys hear the TV? I know it's really loud today. I'm watching Bridgerton on Netflix. Has anybody seen that yet? I really like watching like timepiece kind of shows. I think they're awesome. Okay, so I'm just centering this right on t right in the center over that little band that we did here. So there's the card. I'm going to grab an envelope because we're going to um, put a little bit of embellishment on our envelope. Um, and for some reason... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh. Sorry, I didn't already have an envelope ready, so I had to dig for it in my basket. Okay, so this is just a regular little envelope. And I'll move my die cut machine so that I can get to my DSP. DSP. Okay, so I have another uh, sheet of 12 by 12 of this same um, pattern that we used on our card. So I'm going to, I'm going to be crazy about this, guys, because I haven't really, like, I didn't measure or cut or plan this part at all. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, so this has like um, an, up, an upside, I guess. Like we want it to be this way, right? When we're visually looking at it. And I want it to be this way on my flap. I just want to cover this part of my flap. So it's going to go like this. So I'm going to turn it so that everything lines up as it should. I'm going to use a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to put it as close to this fold or flap on my envelope as I can and then as close to the bottom as I can. And I'm gonna hold this up and throw this DSP in there. And I'm just gonna like butt it against the edge in that crease if I can. If I can. Let me try this part. Uh, much, much better. Okay, so I just put it in that crease and then I'm gonna lay it down and apply some pressure so that everything sticks really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, grab my snips, and I'm just gonna like initially cut just this huge chunk because I don't want this huge 12 by 12 sheet of paper as I'm cutting along because that would just be really 
distracting and difficult to work with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut right along the flap of the envelope, like that. And this time I didn't put any embellishment on the inside of the card. We totally could. Um, let's see, let's see. Do I want to? I'm trying to think. I think we might just for fun. Um, it also would have been really pretty to use um this this reverse side this because we used it on our project also so it would have been pretty to put that on the envelope flap also okay so project and envelope there we go I am gonna put um a little bit more detail on the inside of this just because I do like having a project that is completed completed completely inside and out. So let me grab um, a paper trimmer, um, and I'm actually just going to grab this mini paper trimmer. This is um, like a promotional item we had, I think, last sale, celebration. Um, I got it for Elizabeth, and she still uses it, and it's just the one that's handy to me right now. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, I'm going to, first I'm just going to chop. Um, okay, I'm going to do an inch, and I'm just going to chop like that, and I'm just going to cut like that, and I didn't think about the fact that it doesn't measure all the way lost, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. Four right here, and we're just going to kind of eyeball it. It's going to be like right here-ish. I don't want a whole, I don't want a half strip, a half inch strip, I think, I think that's what I want. So it's just a little bit long still, so I'm just going to snip. Okay, and I'm going to open the inside, and we're just going to put it like right here on the inside panel. I think that looks really pretty. So let me flip this over. Started and just just a touch. Okay, and then I'm just lining this up so that it's all um, I don't know, like edge to edge. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't stand it. It's so cute. Okay, fancy envelope, a fancy project with a pretty little detailed inside. And there you have it. That is my project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the last demonstration of 2020, but it is not the last demonstration ever, ever. I will be back here on Friday with a new project for you. Um, our first, first project of the year. And I cannot wait. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.